if you do that you can be guaranteed that your children your descendants also will be blessed Okay turn with me to the book of Exodus oh, sorry Genesis Genesis chapter 26 Genesis chapter 26 Ha huh. It's a story about Isaac Who was Isaac Son of Abraham Okay what does the name Isaac mean hmm? Laughter Okay Malayalam ചിരി നമ്മളാരും മക്കൾക്ക് ചിരി എന്ന് പേരിടും എടാ ചിരി ഇങ്ങോട്ട് വാ അല്ലേ സത്യം പറഞ്ഞ ഐസക്ക് ചിരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നടന്നെന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നില്ല ബട്ട് പീപ്പിൾ ഹു സോയം വാസ് ലാഫി വയസ്സാകാലത്ത് ഈ കിളവന് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു മോനെ ദൈവം കൊടുത്തല്ലോ അല്ല ഈ അപ്പച്ചൻ്റെ സാറ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ മുതലാളിക്ക് ഒരു മോനെ ദൈവം കൊടുത്തു സോ എവ്രി വൺ വെൻ ദ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഐസക് ദേ വെ റിയലി ദ വാസ് എ സ്മൈൽ ദ വാസ് ലാഫ്റ്റ് എവ്രി വേ so they named him isaac and uh, remember it's in chapter 26 if you read from the first verse there was a famine in the land besides the previous famine that had occurred in the days of abraham remember there is there was a famine in our christian life okay will there be famine ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ പുതിയ തലമുറ പിള്ളേർ ഫാമിൻ എന്നുള്ള തന്നെ ഫെമൈൻ എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു എനിക്കറിയത്തില്ല ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഓർ അമേരിക്കൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഐ ഡോ നോ സംബഡി കറക്റ്റ് മീ ഞാൻ കൊച്ചിലെ ഫാമിൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു പോയി ഇനി ക്ഷമിക്കുക എല്ലാവരും ഫെമൈൻ ആണെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെ അങ്ങ് എടുത്തോളുക അത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഇൻസ്പൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ വാട്ട് ബി എൻജോയ് അറ്റ് ടൈംസ് ഗോഡ് മൈ സെൻഡ് എസ് ത്രൂ എ ടൈം ഓഫ് ഫാമിൻ ബട്ട് റിമെമ്പർ വെൻ ഇറ്റ് കംസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം it was there in his father's time also abraham also went through the same situation there was a famine and what did he do he left his place and went down to egypt <laughs> you can see a, a a cycle there it happens in abraham it happens in isaac and interestingly it happens in jacob's time also <laughs> and in joseph's time thank god again the the picture turns there was complete famine but god sent him ahead to some other place of prosperity and he prepared okay everything for the land where he was sent at the same time for his people okay so that's god's faithfulness god's faithfulness so having a famine in our life is not a something a surprise it can happen it can happen but without a reason he will not allow anything in our lives can you say an amen for that or a karanam kooda ad onnum devu anuvadikkunnilla pettanna oru prayasam jeevithi vannu pettanna oru rogam vannu pettanna oru crisis vannu chalappalengile pettanna oru death kudumbathil varum don't think that is an accident no god allowed it with a purpose not to punish you sometimes he may even test you that's right but one thing we can be very sure according to what apostle paul says in romans all things work together for the good for them who love him and are called according to his purpose as some of you know um july 23rd i uh, left trivandrum to go to us so i went to the trivandrum airport and uh, in my security i had to leave everything in the x-ray machine and i put my ipad also in the tray and i took everything back in, in except my ipad i landed up in new york and next sunday i was supposed to preach in a church pastors uh, look for the sermons only on saturday night usually <laughs> but thank god the randos of mumbai i found out my ipad is missing i decided okay anyway ipad illa let me not rely on ipad okay so 
i just had a message from the lord which was in my heart for the churches in america so i just wrote it on a paper and then i typed it on a computer and took a print out and kept it in my bible so throughout these five weeks or six sundays okay i never used my ipad <laughs> i just preached the same sermon in everywhere i went praise the lord for that but the thing is okay thank god where i stayed my host said don't worry i know somebody in in rwanda but immediately he called hey my friend my pastor i think uh, left his ipad there he checked and said yes it is here and it was delivered to my home the same week so i got my ipad back but at the same time all things work together for the good i got a new ipad also <laughs> just just to tell you not without a reason sometimes even you lose things <laughs> don't think that you lose so god works everything for the good i mean endengilu poi nu parna arengilu karanjondirikkanengil santoshikkya endo nanma adilude varunnund okay so petta nare udharana manasi vannadangu paranjane ullu ini korcha vellam vena kudikkan nanda kari jet lag karana urakam vannondirikkunna appo njan i always make fun of people who sleep so now my prayer is lord let me not sleep thank you okay abam second verse the lord appeared to him and said do not go down to egypt stay in the land which i shall tell you now his father went down to egypt and isaac knew that so now when in his time the same situation shows up his immediate reaction is to follow his father's footsteps because he has an history in his family that his father had done something when a similar situation arose in the past but now immediately the lord intervenes and say hey don't go don't go because your father went don't go because you have a history in your family don't do that did you get the point many times nammada kudumbathi parijayullada kudumba charitram nammal adu pole aavartikkum but god is telling don't do that okay that that's a that's a lesson which the lord is telling us something some patterns in our life some patterns in our family you don't have to repeat it somewhere you have to stop it so now the lord said don't go don't go stay here stay here adutha sojourn in this land and i will be with you and bless you can you take it as a blessing <laughs> can you take it as a promise for us be here and i will be with you and bless you and for you and your descendants i will give all these lands i will be establish the oath which i swore to your father abraham pinanga ee parna vala anga endo parna ivada bhayangara shaama ivada anugrahangalde bhayangara perumaya endana i will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and i will give you descendants all these lands and by your descendants all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because abraham obeyed me and kept my charge my commandments my statutes and my laws that's the key remember sometimes we think abraham lude ella anugrahangal inge kittiyanu pakshe abraham lude ella anugrahangal kittan kaaranam enda he obeyed that's the beauty of it even in kerala many christians say hey i am blessed because of my father i am blessed because of my mother i am blessed because of my grandmother ne parayarund okay my question is yes you are blessed because of your grandparents or parents but my question is how are your children going to be blessed what are you doing now are you obeying god's commands are you following the lord wholeheartedly are you obeying whatever he tells you to do if you do that you can be guaranteed that your children your descendants also will be blessed praise the lord okay so isaac lived in gerar and what happened okay then i korche thaattu jan varuana avade cheriya oru oru story undu adu njan vittekka adu ravile athra prasakthav alla thaalottu vannittu ee 12th words genesis chapter 26 12th words can someone take a mic and read okay 12th words now isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold 
and the lord blessed him can you say amen to that ningal vare inge irunno ta amen akka parpichu thodangi somewhere we need to acknowledge what we are reading okay so in the land of famine because the lord said you sow here definitely you will reap here and once he obeyed the lord and he did something how did he reap hundredfold isahak vedachu nooru meni koidu nooru meni hundred remember when we obey god he is a god who will definitely bless us okay so isaac ne oru nashtam vannilla engum pondi vannilla avade thanne vedacha avade thanne cheyidu pakshe ini aan adutha vishayam varunathu adutha next words the man became rich the man became rich no wonder nur meni ennaga parana definitely he is rich okay and ah. his wealth continued to grow until wealth continued to grow he became rich and he is still continuing to be rich ah. until he became very wealthy okay he became very wealthy okay adutha he had so many flocks and herds and servants that the philistines envied him you'll be wondering this fellow went to america and he's coming back and teaching prosperity theology <laughs> from I'm the old pastor <laughs> with the old theology <laughs> but I'm trying to make a point here okay what is that ha huh. so all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father abraham the philistines stopped up filling them with earth okay what does that mean now all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of abraham his father the philistines stopped up by filling them with earth or mud or whatever his father had dug a lot of wells alle ottri kenar kulichirunnu kenar definitely water is very much needed alle water always shows life there was a lot of life around that place why because there was water and how did this water come it's hard work digging deep water came and it was not his project his father did it but now the enemies came and started filling it ad ellattu mannittu moodan thodangi okay what happened next verse then abimelech said to isaac huh. move away from us you have become too powerful for us and the thing is okay 14th verse this is something i want to make for he had possessions of flocks and herds and a great household so that the philistines what did they do so i'll tell you about some wells of isaac number 1 the well of jealousy have you ever thought about it when god blesses you you are truly blessed no one no doubt about it remember when you are when you are what do you call when you are blessed by god there is someone who doesn't like it and he's so jealous so jealous okay now because god blessed him the people around him are so jealous so this well of jealousy is there so what happened because of that next words so all the wells huh. that is no, father's servants verse, 16th words then abimelech said to isaac move away from us you move have move away in other words go away from us because you are so too powerful, powerful for us full to us and isaac departed from there and camped in the valley of gerar and settled there what does that mean when people are jealous don't try to fight with them you can help them <laughs> and they are telling go away from here what did he say why should i go away i will live in the land where god has given me and bless me i will be here but remember what did he do he slowly moved away from there did you see that attitude of isaac valakku venda ennu paranju pulli endu idu adukke avadu ange maari inge poi chalapadengilum it's interesting god will test us through relationship with others but how do we respond and react that's very important we can always stand there and fight but sometimes god may ask us to move 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 okay there was good relationship there in the beginning but after some time people were envious and they wanted him to move so this 
the bible okay we are always uh, been uh, taught when we are blessed when we are growing whereas others will be diminishing or going down so the thing is okay the enemy decided to put mud inside the well david always had this problem with saul abel always had this problem with cain hagar had this problem with who sara okay and joseph always had this problem with his brothers so when a person throws dirt it is usually he is jealous did you get the point ningal aarengil mannu varirunengil endana ante artham avaru ningalode jealous aan manasilavunnundo നിങ്ങൾക്കത് വിശ്വാസം പോലും വരുന്നില്ലല്ലേ ഒന്ന് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ആയിട്ട് ചിന്തിക്കുക ആരെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾ നിരന്തരം മണ്ണു വാരി എറിയുന്നുണ്ടോ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വേറെ കുഴപ്പമൊന്നുമില്ല അവർക്ക് വട്ടമൊന്നുമല്ല സോ ജലസ് വിത്ത് യു അപ്പം തിരിച്ച് മണ്ണു വാരി എറിയരുത് അത്ര ഞാൻ ഈ പറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നത് ഡോൺ ത്രോ ദ ഡേർട്ട് ബാക്ക് ഓൺ ദം ജസ്റ്റ് മൂവ് ഐ ഫ്രം ദം അവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ മാറിപ്പോവുക ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഓക്കെ Okay, add to the value. 18th verse. Isaac reopened the wells huh. that had been dug in the time of his father When Abraham. Isaac dug again the wells of water which had been dug in the days of his father. Huh. Which the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died. Huh. And he gave them the same names his father had given them. Huh. And when Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found there is well of flowing water. Okay, now I had to move. our problem is okay many times we fight for our rightful rights appante verilana aadharam avada oru kinaru kuriche avada vellam korinen endha prashnam adende appante parayadathil appan kulichada avada nenikku vellam korana enikku avagasham undu appo njan thalli konna avadnu povathilla njan ende avagasham sthavichidukku pakshe he moved away adu kanju when he moved away to a valley and dug another well there was water there praise god there was well of flowing water okay appadan adutha prashnam amen parayan varatte 20th vakyam but the herders of gerar quarreled huh. with those of isaac and said huh. the water is ours ha adutha thu undu kinaru ulichu vellam kandappam da varunu adutha injection order endana varan varatte koram varatte the well is nangade aanu the second well the first well of jealousy the second well of arguments in other words strife and all that kind of like strife oru valakku illada shalli illada maari poi oru kinaru ulichappam adinu nanda vandirikkunu avagashi appo jealousy can be very subtle gently removing you from the scene that may be withdrawal but in this case it can even turn into opposition and even into open arguments esek and a walk out it don't esek the original text it means a lawsuit it can be a lawsuit alleke tarkam le avaru vanna avagasham parayumba enikku tarkam paranju venengil avada poraadi nikka pakshe envy brings strife is there a verse like that envy always brings strife and strife brings contention idella oru oru da varne oru continuity the root is envy remember when god blesses us envy is going to be very envious of us when your children does better than others children definitely others are going to be very envious of you and your children when in your fa- spiritual life you are growing others will look at you and they will not be very happy they will be always envious of you so this is there everywhere it is there it started from with abraham it's there so how we react to the envy of others is very 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 important so sometimes a person who has never quarreled with you before will suddenly begin to act like your enemy have you gone through this <laughs> oh you see wow now i'm i'm speaking sense to many people here <laughs> 
ഇന്നലെ അവർ ഒരു കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഇന്നലെ രാത്രി എൻ്റെ അടുത്ത് വർത്താനം പറഞ്ഞ് ലേറ്റായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ പിരിഞ്ഞു പക്ഷെ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ വഴക്കുമായിട്ട് വന്നിരിക്കുന്നു എന്നെ കണ്ടിട്ട് ദിസ് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ദിസ് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ സഡൻലി വെൻ പീപ്പിൾ ടേൺ അഗെൻസ്റ്റ് യു ഓപ്പൺലി ചലഞ്ചിങ് യു നോ ഫോർ നോ അപ്പാരൻറ്റ് റീസൺ ഒരു കാരണവും ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചിട്ട് കാണുന്നില്ല പക്ഷെ ദേ ആർ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ചലഞ്ചിങ് മീ നിന്ന് നിപ്പി ഒരു വക്കീൽ നോട്ടീസ് വന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ഇങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ വരാറുണ്ട് സുറുമ്പ വെൻ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഹാപ്പൻ റൂട്ട് കോസ് മേ ബി ജലസി ഇൻ സമൺസ് ഹാർട്ട് ഓക്കെ സോ ഹൗ ഡു വി റിയാക്ട് ഇൻ സച്ച് സിറ്റുവേഷൻസ് ഇസ് ദ ഇഷ്യൂ ഇറിയ സോ തേർട്ടി ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ then they dug then another they well they dug another well but they quarrel over that one also idu endo appante ganara kulichedappum adinu valakku aduthathu poi thaalvayil onnu kulichappum adinu avakasham parannittu vandirikkunu adu kanju ipporthu another dug vera oru ganara kulichappalo avadu endha pattiyathu what did they out words they they quarreled over it too and he named it സിത്ന ആർക്കെങ്കിലും സിത്ന എന്ന് പേരിട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇടാൻ പറ്റുന്നൊരു പേരുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ എനിക്ക് ഒരു വഴക്കാളി കൊച്ചിനെ വേണമെങ്കിൽ അതിന് പേരിട്ടാൽ മതി സിത്ന ഇനി അങ്ങനെ പേരിടാതെ തന്നെ വഴക്കാളികളാകും നമ്മുടെ പല പിള്ളേർ നല്ല എന്തോന്നും നല്ല പേരുകളൊക്കെയാണ് ഇടുന്നത് പക്ഷേ പലപ്പോഴും എവറി വേ ഹീസ് അവോയ്ഡിങ് കൺഫ്രണ്ടേഷൻ ഹീസ് അവോയ്ഡിങ് ക്വാറൽ ഓക്കെ ഹീസ് ലിവിങ് ബട്ട് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ നോട്ട് ലിവിങ് ഹിം Like wherever he goes and does something, he will be able to do something like that. He will be able to do something like that. The third well is accusation. Satan is the word of the word. Satan is the word of the word. Satan is the word of the word. Accuser. Accuser. The word of the word is accuser. everyone this is the third level of relationship problem at this point the problem has gone from jealousy to opposition to accusation now it start with jealousy it moved to opposition now it has come to open accusation but remember the person involved in this test has now begun to actually spread things against your character and is slandering you to to others for no reason has this happened to any one of you something is wrong with this mic break on le okay oru kaaranam illada arengilum ningal accuse cheyida ningale kurich abavadam paranjittundo has anyone gone through this situation oru kaaranam illa you you find no reason but people are talking all kinds of nonsense against you has it happened in any of your lives Oh, wow. That also makes sense. If you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to worry about it. Let's go. Hello, testing. Mic testing. There was a joke in Manorama daily long back. Some of the meaning of the words. So, the meaning of the word praise the Lord. The word which Pentecostals used to test mic. ഒരു ഉപദേശി മൈക്ക് കിട്ടിയ പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോട്ട് പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോട്ട് അത് പ്രൈസ് ലോട്ട് പറഞ്ഞതല്ല മൈക്ക് ടെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്ത സോ ഐ ഓൾവേസ് എ ഡോൺ ടെസ്റ്റ് മൈക്ക് വിത്ത് പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോട്ട് സേ ടെസ്റ്റിംഗ് വൺ ടു ത്രീ വൺ ടു ത്രീ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് സമൺ ഇസ് ലാൻഡറിങ് യു ഫോർ നോ റീസൺ റിമെമ്പർ ദ റൂട്ട് ഇസ് ജലസി ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ദ ഒപ്പോസിങ് യു ആൻഡ് ദേ വിൽ നോട്ട് സ്റ്റോപ്പ് വിത്ത് ദേ ദേ വിൽ ഗോ അഗെയിൻ to accuse you accuse you okay then at last he a moved, breakthrough came ah he moved he moved on from there ah. and dug another well hmm. and no one quarreled over it ha ah, now another well idu etra another ay nammada prashnam aadyatha wellinu chuttu ninnu gusti kudikondikka rendu varkum koran pattunnilla namakkum koran pattunnilla ഇനി അഥവാ അതിൽ നിന്ന് കോരി അതിൽ വരുന്ന വാട്ടർ ഏതാ ഡേർട്ടി വാട്ടർ കാരണം മണ്ണിട്ടിരിക്കുകയല്ലേ അല്ലേ മണ്ണെങ്കിൽ മണ്ണ് കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഞാൻ അതിൽ നിന്ന് തന്നെ കോരും വൈ ആർ യു ഡ്രിങ്കിങ് ഡേർട്ടി വാട്ടർ മൂവ് അവേ ഗോ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് സംതിങ് ന്യൂ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഡിഗ് എ ന്യൂ വെൽ 
ഇതിപ്പോൾ എത്ര എത്രാമത്തെ വെല്ലായി ഇതിപ്പം നാലാമത്തെ ആ എണ്ണമൊക്കെ കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് എണ്ണം നാലാമത്തെ വെല്ല ഓക്കെ അവിടെ ചെന്ന് കുഴിച്ചപ്പോൾ എന്തു പറ്റി ദേർ നോ ബഡി കെയിം ടു ക്വാറൽ സോ ഹി നെയിംഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ നെയിംഡ് ഇറ്റ് രഹബോത്ത് രഹബോത്ത് എന്താണ് രഹബോത്ത് എന്നുള്ള വാക്കിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം at last the lord has made room for us and we will be fruitful in the land so the fourth well is room enough room enough for vishalata devan thanu thre naal valakkayirunnu tarkkavayirunnu vaadavayirunnu alle endakkayirunnu pakshe ennum tarkkavum vaadavum valakkalla a day will come a situation will come the lord will move you will have a breakthrough then you will call it rehaboth ini tarkam illa enna nammadeke jeevathile rehaboth varan povunne when is my family going to enjoy that rehaboth situation that's what we should be praying lord we wish a rehaboth in my life lord i wish a rehaboth in my family lord i wish that no more strife no more quarreling no more what do you call e velluliyal onnum venda and then what happened no longer was everything he did controversial and contested now it was prosperous and abundance okay adutha thaattu vaakkumba from there he went up to bersheba ah huh. that night the lord appeared to him and said hmm. i am the god of your father abraham wow. the god is telling the same thing I am the god of your father Abraham huh. do not be afraid do not be afraid when people come and accuse you do not be afraid when people come and uh, take your rightful rights don't fight with them because I am your god I am your god I am telling you don't be afraid do not be afraid when things are uh, coming against you maybe it's turning against you don't be afraid Ah. for i am with you ah why i you not supposed to be afraid i am with you if god is with me i will not be afraid okay then i will bless you hmm. and will increase the number of your descendants wow. for the sake again, of again blessings i will bless you i will increase you your descendants ha ah. for the sake of my servant abraham abraham okay then adathu Isaac built an altar there ah. and called on the name of the Lord. Hmm. There he pitched his tent hmm. and there his servants dug a well. Da, again well. Shada. Kidu vere, idu endo onnu koyal kanaru company aanu. Chumma ingane kanaru olichu kanaru olichu povu. Well as always to do with water and water has something to do with life. did you know that next world war will be for water not for petrol not for any matter onnu alla it will be going to be for water aganengil water is life and people always will fight to take life out of you they don't want you to have life to have especially to enjoy life that's why jesus said i have come to give you life and that too in abundance but people around us will not allow us to enjoy life but remember when we have the abundant life of jesus in us situations around us will not matter to us let people do anything i let them do everything to me or against me but because i have the life of jesus inside me i will where i want to move away i will move away where i want to start something i will start where i want to again go and do it i will do it remember my god is the god who will give me blessing there so finally again dug a well and then meanwhile ah. abimelech had come to him from gerar hmm. with ahusath his personal advisor hmm. and fikol the commander of his forces yo nere dgp ege vilichondu puli vini madarikka the commander of the army commander of the army nornu ara brigadier vayittu vannirikkana air force robin i don't know who is the chief of staff and what is your big man called in air force chief of air staff oh wow air air force you all are right 
okay is a what's your position now what are you now group captain yeah the group captain says wow okay so now this man has come with the big guy commander of the army ek vichu vandirikya appo iyalu vatti ingane varumbam illa police vandil vannu irangumbam pettana isaakinne manasil endayirikkum alle joyike suddenly the king abimelech is coming with his captains alle suddenly what will what will he think first can he has the history of always coming people coming and fighting people coming and taking possession people coming and strife ee parna vaakkal ella negative aayirun suddenly again this man is coming but remember what's happening after he came ha huh? isaac asked them hmm. why have you come to me since you were hostile to me hmm. and send me away kanda isaac paam pole choyi ini endina enne shalyapaduthana njan ende valiki poyadalle endina enne shalyapaduthana pakshe avadu endha paranjathu they answered huh. Huh. we saw clearly that the lord was with you so remember this should be our testimony of each one of us remember whoever is envious of us whoever has come against you whoever has talked against you whoever has caused damage to your reputation remember the god will cause them to see the blessings of god in your life so that it will be very evident that's the blessing of a child of god i think paul says to timothy timothy your progress will be evident to all nende abhivruddhi sagalarum kaanendadana so when god really blesses you your progress will be evident to all even it will reflect in your progress card namaku progress nekkum oru kaari orme illu progress card alle progress card is sondha aayittu oppittirulla aarengil ivada undo ah adu inna ittillengil i think the boys are more mischievous than the girls ningal cheyidatte illa alle ah undu ah indittana ivada vannu worship ok lead cheyina alle a kochina soothikanam progress card ok tiridi thana ivada vannu worship lead cheyina manasandra petta devathu shema vechirundo cheyichundallo ah seri okay so ipo etra vellai nammal ennam thanne vittu poi kana evada kulichalum endana something is happening but the fifth well there is a difference endana the apostles are coming and telling we see the blessings of god in your life then ha huh? so we said huh? there ought to be a sworn agreement between us there should be oath between us ha huh? between us and you ha huh? let us make a treaty with you let us make a treaty with you that means a eh? covenant with you ha huh? that you will do us no harm ha huh? just as nigi nigi you will do us thare naal aara harm cheyidondirunne alle choyke who was doing harm to whom his enemies were always doing harm to him but now they are coming and begging please don't do us any harm okay then just as we did not harm you hmm. but always treated you well and hmm. sent you away peacefully aha namaka riya avaru paraya look nammal me vaalkonnu illallalle njangalodum onnum thonnalle namukku me vaalku venda namukku oru treat cheyyam idu vaakyam ennada manasilekku edengilum oru vaakyam vere orma varunnundo there is a beautiful verse in proverbs chapter 6 I am closing here. Chap- Proverbs chapter 6 verse 30 and 31. Can someone read Proverbs chapter 6 verse 30 and 31? People do not despise uh, 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 31. Yet if he is caught uh, uh, Proverbs Ah uh, ah uh, okay okay that's it that's it. Adena uh, yet if he is caught hmm. he must pay sevenfold ah okay adan the mensile the lord will cause your enemies to restore back seven times what has been stolen from you ha point varaina when the enemies steal something from you finally a day he will be caught and he is supposed to be repaying you but once he pays you back he is not paying what he has stolen from you he has to repay you seven times 
ഇത് പഴയമത്തിലൊരു തത്വമാണെങ്കിലും ഇതുപോലെ വേറൊരു വാക്യമുണ്ട് ഒരുവനോട് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ പ്രസാദം ഉള്ളപ്പോൾ അവൻ്റെ ശത്രുക്കളെപ്പോലും അവനോട് നിരപ്പിക്കും ദാറ്റ്സ് അനദർ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വേൾഡ്സ് സോ മൈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് ക്യാൻ സം വൺ ബി യു എനിമി ഇൻ അതർ വേൾഡ്സ് ക്യാൻ യു ട്രീറ്റ് എനിവൺ ആസ് എൻ എനിമി മേ ബി വാട്ട് ദേ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് മേ ബി ഇസ് വാട്ട് ആൻ എനിമി ഡസ് ടു യു ലൈക്ക് എൻ എനിമി ഡസ് ടു യു ബട്ട് you are not supposed to treat them back as your enemy did you get the point maybe your neighbors will be doing harm to you maybe your in-laws may be doing harm to you maybe in your office your colleagues are working against you but never ever treat them as your enemies why are they doing it because they are envious did you get the point today people are envious when you are a child of god don't think that everyone is happy with that no they are very envious they are very envious when you are in trouble okay you can always run to your father father in heaven and you can call him abba father when they look at that they are very envious look she can run to her father whereas i don't have anyone anywhere to run or anyone to run to they are envious they are envious so let them be envious never react never react in other words here interesting isaac never reacted instead he acted our problem is okay when anyone does anything to us the first thing is we react and once we react the enemy has already won but instead of reacting if you act what is that action just quietly leave and start a dug a dig a new well okay dig a new well so this morning i want to encourage you that god's blessing in our lives doesn't mean that we won't have any challenges in spite of god blessing us along with it comes what challenges challenges but all these challenges okay he isaac didn't react instead he acted how he went ahead and dug new wells and sometimes even in he redig some of the wells which his father has already okay sometimes in our lives also we need to redig something alle ee malayalathil parayunda kenar erakkiya alle engane alle parayunna if one well is not used for a long time what will happen all this dirt and everything will kind of water is not good so finally what will you do you will clean ali ver vaaku parnja kenar clogged ay adane endo ver vaaku parayane unclog allalo alle unclog enna parayane yeah erakkiya nu parayane so the sometimes ah yeah yeah sometimes now we are we were all these time we were talking about the physical well now for a time i'll just uh, take your attention to our hearts this is also a well ano idu or orvaya alle idu or orvaya ibedeyana jeevante a orvaya sherikku nammada jeevan tudikkunnathu ibedeyana ee heart ilum sherikkum parnja chelappa nammal sraddhichillengil there will be dirt the enemy is constantly putting throwing some dirt inside and if you are not careful these dirt can go and settle here and get clogged so we need to constantly do the, the process of unclogging we need to need to unclog is our hearts our hearts get stopped up stopped up ipo onnu porthekku varunnilla stop ay sometimes covered with a lot of dirt that is sin sometimes covered with distraction covered with misplaced priorities le devam vechirikkunna priorities onnu alle ipo nammada priority namukku nammada priority anengil ee hridayathil vera endakkyo vannu adayan thodangi nartha sometimes our heart will be full of discouragement sometimes our heart will be full of doubt does god love me <laughs> sometimes our heart will be full of disbelief unable to believe എന്തെങ്കിലും സംഭവിക്കുമെന്ന് എനിക്കങ്ങോട്ട് വിശ്വസിക്കാൻ പോലും കഴിയുന്നില്ല എന്ന് പറയുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഈ കിണറിനകത്തും 
എന്തൊക്കെയോ വന്ന് അടിയാൻ തുടങ്ങി എന്നർത്ഥം സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി വി ഷുഡ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് റീഡിങ്ങിങ് ഓക്കെ സോ മെനി ടൈംസ് അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ചെറിയ ലക്ഷണങ്ങൾ എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ വി ഡോണ്ട് ഹിയർ ഗോഡ് വെൻ വി സിറ്റ് ഇൻ പ്രേ വി ഡോണ്ട് ഹിയർ ഗോഡ് വി ആർ ലൂസിങ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഓർ ഫൈ നോട്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു ഫൈൻ ജോയ് ഇൻ ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ നോർമൽ തിങ് ടു നെഗ്ലക്ട് ടൈംസ് ഓഫ് ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് വിത്ത് അതർ ബിലീവേഴ്സ് ഓർ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് കമ്മിങ് ടു ചർച്ച് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഓൾറെഡി അവർ ഹാർട്ട് has clogged so it is high time we need to unclog our hearts okay and uh, my advice to you is start digging start digging new wells start trying new things okay sometimes okay you are not unable to do it start doing new things start doing new things and the lord will definitely cause it so that it will be a blessing in your lives okay i as before i stop many times when the enemy throws all the dirt into the well the water get mixed and in other words the water gets dirty the sad thing today even our worship becomes dirty why because it's a mixture of the world and the spirit remember god will never accept a mixture did you know that god will never accept any mixture so in our worship okay with what are we worshiping are we worshiping in the spirit or have we brought the world into our worship in our devotion time with god are you distracted what did jesus tell martha martha what you are doing is good you are cooking for us you are going to feed us that's right but you are so distracted so distracted many times we may be very active in ministry but we may be so distracted that's why jesus said one thing is needed come here sit here your sister is sitting in my feet that's what you should also be doing many times we think ministry is doing for jesus but martha even though she was doing the right thing according to us but jesus didn't appreciate what martha was doing he appreciated what mary was doing so he was she was sitting at the feet of jesus so sometimes we may have to put our priorities right before god and uh, i'll stop here finally again uh 30th verse Isaac then made a feast for Isaac them Isaac then made a feast ha uh. and they ate and drank okay and they ate and drank arani de nammal oru feast nammal veettil oru party nadathu maareke vilikkunne parane angalne cousinne siblingsine പിന്നെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിന് പിന്നെ ചിലപ്പോൾ പാസ്റ്റർ പിന്നെ ആരെയൊക്കെ വിളിക്കുന്നത് പറഞ്ഞേ ആരെയൊക്കെ വിളിക്കുന്നത് വെൻ വി മേക്ക് ഗിവ് എ ഫീസ് ആരെയൊക്കെ വിളിക്കുന്നത് ദ വൺസ് ഹൂം വി ലവ് ആൻഡ് ദ വൺസ് ഹൂ ഫേവർ ദ വൺസ് ഹു ആർ ഹെൽപ് ദ വൺസ് ഹു ആർ സപ്പോർട്ടീവ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നൗ ഇതാരായി വന്ന പാർട്ടികൾ അവർക്കൊരു ഫീസ്റ്റ് അങ്ങോട്ടം കൊടുക്കുക ഇതാണ് നമ്മൾ ട്വന്റി തേർഡ് സാമല്ലേ പണ്ട് ആദ്യം കാണാതെ പഠിച്ചത് ദ ലോഡ് ഈസ് മൈ ആ അങ്ങനെയല്ലേ നമ്മൾ തുടങ്ങിയത് ഐ ഷാൽ നോട്ട് മോൺ എന്നിട്ട് താഴ്ട്ട് വരുമ്പോൾ ദൗ പ്രിപ്പയറസ്റ്റ് എ ടേബിൾ ബിഫോർ മൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സോ ആ അങ്ങനെയാണ് പഠിച്ചു വെച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് ദൗ പ്രിപ്പയറസ്റ്റ് എ ടേബിൾ ബിഫോർ മൈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അതേ ഉള്ളൂ ഈ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിൻ്റെ ടേബിളേ ഉള്ളൂ എന്നും പക്ഷെ ബൈബിൾ പറയുന്നത് പ്രിപ്പയർ എ ടേബിൾ ബിഫോർ മൈ എനിമീസ് അവൻ ശത്രുക്കളുടെ മുമ്പാകെ എനിക്ക് മേശ ഒരുക്കുന്നു അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്കിനി ആരെങ്കിലും ശത്രുക്കളുണ്ടോ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരെ ഇത് ദർ സമൺ കോൾ ദി എനിമി ഇൻ അവർ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്സ് നോ വൺ ഷുഡ് ബി അവർ എനിമി ദർ 
there's only one enemy that's a common enemy and who is that satan allada ee manushara manushara onnu namakku enemies alla priyapettathu so please take it into your heart oru manushara namakku enemy alla pishaji mathre ullu namakku enemy anganeengil aa shatruvinte munbil mesha irukkuna karthavaanengil ee ഐസക്കിൻ്റെ ജീവിതം നമുക്ക് നല്ലൊരു മാതൃകയാണ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് എൻ വി ദെൻ ഒപ്പോസിഷൻ ദെൻ അക്യൂസേഷൻ അതിന് മുമ്പ് അവിടെ കൊണ്ട് ദൈവം വിടുന്നില്ല അടുത്തത് റൂം ഇനഫ് വാ ഫൈനലി ദ ഫിഫ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് വാസ് റിസ്റ്റോറേഷൻ ശത്രുവിൻ എന്ത് ചെയ്തു ഒരു ഫീസ്റ്റ് കൊടുത്തിട്ട് അടുത്ത് എന്ത് ചെയ്തു in the morning they rose early and exchanged oaths then isaac sent them away and they departed from him in peace kando satruvine deal idu engane virunu koduthe ketti pidiche oru endha parnja oru udambadiyum cheyidittu vittu okay avaru santoshayittu poi idhe endirichu vannu adutha veendum vaiche that day isaac servants came ah. and told him about the well they had dug jaladosham pidichirikkunna nenakko maikino ആ ശബ്ദം എനിക്ക് കേൾക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒരു അടഞ്ഞു കേൾക്കുന്നു ആ ആ മൈക്കിനെ എന്തോ ഒരു അടഞ്ഞു കേൾക്കുന്ന ശബ്ദം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എങ്ങനെയാണ് കേൾക്കുന്നത് എനിക്കറിയാം എനിക്കിവിടെ കേൾക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒരു തരം കുഴപ്പമില്ലേ ആ ഓക്കെ നൗ ഇറ്റ് കെയിം അബൌട്ട് ഓൺ ദ സെയിം ഡേ ദാറ്റ് ഐ സെക് സെർവൻസ് കെയിം ഇൻ ആൻഡ് ടോൾഡ് ഇം അബൌട്ട് ദ വെൽ വിച്ച് ഹാഡ് ദേ ഹാഡ് ഡഗ് ആൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ടു ഹിം വി ഹാവ് ഫൗണ്ട് വാട്ടർ വാ വി ഹാവ് ഫൗണ്ട് വാട്ടർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം എന്താ ദേ ഡിൻ ഫൈൻ വാട്ടർ എസ്റ്റഡേ നമ്മൾ കുഴിച്ച് 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 എന്നും ചെന്ന് എൻ്റെ കരയിൽ ചെന്ന് നോക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക വെള്ളം ഉണ്ടോ വെള്ളം ഉണ്ടോ ആ കിണറ്റിൽ പോയി കുഞ്ഞ് നോക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരുന്നാൽ വെള്ളം വരത്തില്ല ശത്രുവായിട്ട് നിരന്ന് ഒരു ഉടമ്പടി ഉണ്ടാവണം ഇറ്റ് ഗെറ്റ് എ പോയിന്റ് ഒരു റിസ്റ്റോറേഷൻ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുമ്പം വാട്ടർ വിൽ ബി സീൻ ഡേ ഇറ്റ് ഗെറ്റ് എ പോയിന്റ് വെള്ളം കിണറ്റിൽ കാണണമെങ്കിൽ ശത്രുവായിട്ട് പോലും ഒരു ഉടമ്പടി ചെയ്ത് നമ്മൾ സമാധാനത്തിൽ പോകണം ഇത് വളരെ പവർഫുൾ ട്രൂത്ത്സ് ആണ് ദൈവം നമ്മളെ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് സോ ഹൗ ഡു വി അപ്ലൈ ഇൻ അവർ ഡേ ടു ഡേ ലൈഫ് സോ ഹി കോൾഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഷീബ എസ് എച്ച് ഇ ഇ ബി എ അല്ല അത് നമ്മുടെയൊക്കെ ഷീബമാരാ ഇതേതാണ് എസ് എച്ച് ഐ ബി എ എച്ച് അതാണ് സ്ക്രിപ്ചറൽ ഷീബ ഇനി അടുത്ത മോക്ക് പേരിടുമ്പം ഈ ഷീബ എഴുതുക ഓക്കെ and therefore the name of the city is beersheba to this day nammal rendu nalla biblical name padichu endana rehaboth and beersheba so rendu edayirunno ande context when god restores when when god brings a restoration so how many will pray lord i need to see a restoration in my life i need to see a restoration in my family i need to see a restoration in the church i need to see a restoration in the body of christ altogether so that in a city where children of god will come and they will enjoy the restoration they will all be restored there will be happiness when we see a fellow brother a fellow sister men of god servants of god will definitely dwell in unity in the city what a joy will it be what a joy will be Okay, can we pray how many god has very clearly spoken to us can we just close our eyes for a minute how many will say lord you have spoken to me very clearly as if you knew what i was going through right now i am sure the word the lord spoke to us this morning was prophetic word to many of us sitting here the very enemy that you think is not your enemy let the enemy do anything what he wants to do to you but your response to what they do should never be a reaction instead it should be a positive action and the action is not to quarrel back not to fight back not to retaliate but instead to move away and in peace do a new thing start digging another well start digging a new well and god will finally bring the blessing and they saw water they saw water 
many times every day you are going and seeing whether there is water and every day you are depressed by not seeing water the water will only come when others see the progress in you come and have a treaty with you and you throw a feast and you hug them and send them in peace then when he comes back he sees water so that's the key for it that's the key for it father god we thank you for what you have spoken to us thank you lord for not without a reason you allow enemies to throw dirt on us sometimes even ruin our reputation sometimes take advantage of us lord make damages sometimes lord we have lost many things lord in our life but all these things even when it happens lord you were looking at us as to how we are responding and reacting through those situations lord we want to confess that many things when similar things happen in our lives lord we acted very foolishly we reacted in a very selfish and, f- and in the flesh master so that your name was never glorified instead the name of god was put to disgrace and shame through our lives so this morning we confess lord that we have done wrong in the past but this morning we return and repent and come to you and say lord give us the grace because you have told us that you will bless us and make us a blessing but many times why you are not able to bless us is not your fault it's we reacting in a ungodly way in an unscriptural way master sorry forgive us master thank you for opening our eyes and correcting our lives lord we love you lord we thank you in jesus name we pray amen inna geta ee sandesham thirchayittu ningalku anugrahamayirunnu njan vishwasikkunnu oru pakshe ningal idu vareyum ee channel subscribe cheyittilla engil dayavayi ippo thanne onna subscribe cheyya ee sandesham mattu jalar koodi onnu forward cheythu kodukka ningalku idu anugrahamayirunnengil thirchayittum adu mattullorkkum oru anugrahamayi thiruvan adu kaaranamayi thiru god bless you